so much, Addy. Our team coverage now turns to the firefighting efforts to battle the brush fires in our area. Western Mass News reporter Wesley Days joins us live after being in an unusual place when that Plainfield fire broke out. He was up in a fire tower. Wesley, it was a busy few moments there. What, about 50 feet up in the air? Oh, yeah, I took my ruler. I'll guarantee you, Chris, and I measured every foot so I could go back to my therapist and talk about how high I was in the air. Look, it was high up in the air, and we caught the moments right on Western Mass News cameras for you tonight. The very few moments, the very first moments when that call came into that fire tire, tower, and I will tell you, in an elevated fire risk, as we are right now with these high temperatures, it's great to have those fire towers right on hand. It is actually, did you say structure? Just moments after Western Mass News wrapped up our interview at the Pelham Fire Tower, a scene from what felt like a drama TV show began to play out. What are you seeing right now? What's going on? So right now there's a large, uh, what appears to be a large brush fire that my apartment tower, Goshen, found, as well as Shelburne Tower. They lined it up somewhere in Pel uh, Plainfield. Uh, right now they're requesting mutual aid. It's caught on camera moments like these that truly capture the role of a fire tower. On critical uh, periods like we're seeing this week that uh, we have at least those key towers up and staffed and uh, where the eyes in the sky uh, for those local resources. It's local firefighters who battle these brush fires on the ground, but from 50 feet in the air, they're told where to go. Pelham's fire chief explains these tall towers' as impact. These forest fire towers up here, they, they are human smoke detectors. Elevated fire risk like this, it's a big team effort. All these agencies come together uh, to be ready to respond to what the needs are. 42 fire towers in the area, millions of acres to survey across the Bay State. Firefighters from all over are on high alert. Warm temperatures and wind are key ingredients for brush fires. Plenty have popped up and more could soon come. Chief Fire Warden Dave Salano explains. So we've had 19, 19 fires for 102 acres burned uh, just in the last uh, three days. For all of us at home, we may not have the hoses and gear to battle those flames or watch towers to see them coming, but we know how we can stop them before they start. A cigarette butt off of a highway can start a fire in dry grasses today easily. And so abandoned campfires, um, you know, are a problem. Yeah, some great facts there from Chief Ward and Salano. But let's talk about other fires in this area, brush fires. You can head over to our website, westernmassnews.com, where we recap some of the brush fires in Longmeadow and East Longmeadow over the last few days. And even as we go through this elevated fire risk, Chris and Abby, as I mentioned in that story, there were some great temperatures today. And for more on that, we turn over to our first alert meteorologist, Jana Brown, who has.